turn the work slip the first stitch knit 32 knit the first double stitch knit the second double stitch turn the work slip the first stitch pull the yarn bring the yarn in the front then p33 so this is the last row we'll be knitting on the first socks let's continue so this is p33 then pull the first double stitch pull the second double stitch so so far we have completed row number 41 of our pattern but uh, we will not knit row number 42 for this socks rather we will move on to our socks number two okay so just remember we are knitting for the first socks till only row number 41 and then moving on to socks number two so the same thing we will repeat for socks number two so for socks number two again we will start from row number one which says so for socks number two we will start from row number one again so slip the first stitch, pull the yarn bring in the front then purl 35 okay turn the work slip the first stitch knit 34 Okay, so I will complete for socks number 2 till row number 41 and then we'll do row number 42 together, okay? So I have completed row 41 for uh, both the socks. So let's do the last row which is row number 42. So for row number 42, slip the first stitch. then knit 34 okay and then knit the double stitch then we move on to the second socks so bring the yarn in the front slip the first stitch then knit 34 okay and then knit the first stitch okay so we completed so both the socks completed knitting uh, the heels we will now continue with the continue knitting in the round okay so now we will again we will continue knitting in the round we will also follow the pattern which we have for our socks okay so going back to our pattern we'll start again with our uh, another pattern we have been following but before that uh, what we have to do is we have to pick up you know some stitch here just to close the gap usually there is a gap when we close this uh, two together after knitting the heels so to close the gap later on i will purl one stitch here everybody has different way of doing it but i have a different way so usually i need one extra stitch and this stitch i will knit it together in the next round 
so I need uh, I purl one extra stitch because there is a purl here if it is a knit here I would have knit one stitch and then continue with our pattern so this is P1 then C to B so we are continuing with the pattern C to B then P2 K2 P4 K2 P1 K2 P4 K2 P1 K2 P4 K2 P2 C to B then P1 moving on to the second socks so we'll repeat the same thing here so I will I will pull one stitch here, extra stitch, then continue with the pattern P1, C to B, P2, K2, P4. K2 P1 K2 P4 K2 P1 K2 P4 K2 P2 C to B P1 Continue knitting in the round So before uh, knitting the hill, uh, we were just knitting. We were knitting the pattern only on the instep, not on the sole. But now, as the leg uh, portion started, we will continue the pattern on the uh, back of the work also. So this is the leg uh, knitting for the leg. Uh, again, uh, for this particular round, we will also pick up one stitch here to close the gap. So I pick one stitch then there is a double stitch this is a little tight to knit the first time but just try to loosen it and then knit so this as per the pattern we have a P1 then we have C to B then P2 
then K2, B4, K2, P1, K2, P4, K2, P1, K2, P4, K2, P2, C2B, and then P1. So this completes for socks number two. So we'll continue with the other socks. So similarly, we will have to pick up one stitch to close the gap so I will pick up one stitch from here then P1 C2B P2 K2 P3 K2 P1 K2 P4 K2, P1, K2, P4, K2, P2, C2B, then p1 so we are at the we are at round two of the pattern so the first two stitch we will knit two together because there was one stitch which i created extra so this will close the gap so knit two together then again following the pattern k2 p2 then K8 P1 K2 P8 K2 sorry it was it was P4, K2, P1, K8, P2, K2, P1 
okay so starting with P2 to close the gap then follow the pattern which is K2 P2 K8 P1, K2, P4, K2, P1, K8, P2, K2, P1, continuing, so P2 together to decrease the stitch we increase in the previous round continuing with the pattern K2 P2 K8 P1 K2 P4 K2 P1 K8 P2 K2 P1 to so complete it round number two for the second socks let's also complete the first socks so again for this socks as well we will do the first one is P2 together to the P2 together to decrease the extra stitch we created then K2 P2 K8 P1 K2 P4 K2 P1 K8 K8, P2, K2, and P1. So, completed this. We'll so, we will keep knitting uh, the leg till the desired length. I will meet you next week to do the bind off for the ribbing. 
thank you for watching and please feel free to follow or comment uh, if you need any help.